And we are back. Just realised the audio is probably a bit loud, so I'm going to drop that a little bit. Let me know if you want it turned up a tad. Or if you think it's fine. New game. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car. A symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. There is some serious uncanny valley going on with these faces. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries stretch as far as the eye can see. Hey, Lamb. I don't suppose you've got that overlay, Lamb, because I can just slap that on right now. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner. Or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? No I one. Made my mind a long time ago. Trust no one. Fourteen Adam. Fourteen Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. Fourteen Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at Sixth and Industrial Street. Get a sixteen William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. Fourteen Adam, go to. Roger. Fourteen Adam en route. Oh yeah, I'm driving. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Oh. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. If I'd known this had driving, I probably would have plugged in my controller. Oh, this thing turns way better than I expected. Homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. These guys are dicks. Also, yeah, they have creepy faces. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Probably fist right. hump. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one.
Look at this junk. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. It kind of is. Kind of is your job. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. I'm already here. Just rub your face right up against it. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Oh, I have a notebook. Yep, I found a blood stain. Wow, I am a good draw artist. God damn it. I hate it when my mouse doesn't get captured like that. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? I tell you, I'm jinx. I always get landed with this crap. Oh man, I can climb the drain pipe. Here we go. Oh, I can't jump. Oh hey, there's a gun here. Serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. now before the perp tries to leave town i'm not hearing this chime or whatever i meant to hear i'm just hearing a bunch of ambient noise Take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. About this. Why does my no notebook have an intuition tab? You can't wait to get out of that uniform. Can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much.
Wake up, Cole. I'm investigating. See a sucker. This does not seem like an ordinary police car. A little scratch, everything's fine. At least switch the siren on. I would if I knew how. And I enjoy doing the driving. I'm happy to drive. Watch it. I'm a good driver. Why is this gun store open at 10.30 p.m.? Officers Phelps and Dunn, can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Gun shop owner needs to learn trigger discipline. Bad, right? Yep. That's an order book. Whee! Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? In luck, Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street, ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. We watch it. Fuck all y'all. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform. Watch it. I assumed I could break the fence. I guess I can only break through this fence. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full. I found the siren button. Straight 
Straight on here. Stay on this road. Watch it! Wow, what a shithole. Am I not here yet? Come on, come on, it's... There we go, found the trigger point. Oh, that is the best stairs animation. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cup him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, shit. Ready, tough guy? That was unfair. Oh, I should probably block. Police brutality. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Just keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. That was the space bar. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. I want to stick my schlong in a hornet nest. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. Oh, I'm just done, am I? So what's up with the camera here? Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but excuse oh, me. Just a memory. Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight.
And I sure as hell don't want to fight. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, I'm driving this. Whee! Hey, Trickle Gamer. God, this is so clunky. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. How are you? There we go. Yeah, I feel like I might switch to controller. I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet
quiet man who can never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bauer, stop! LMPD! Okie dokie. Sorry for the radio silence for a moment there, but uh, I'm now using a controller so I don't need to nor can I push to talk. So, here we go. Let me know if there's a bunch of really annoying ambient noise. No! What are you doing? Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! Go away, I'm going back inside! Done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. This guy is very athletic. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh, looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ah. feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? No, I was in the army. And he's a Part of the fat tradition guy. of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. The military, whatever. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! So Kelso is a fuck up. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! So I was a dick to a guy called Kelso. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make I have plenty of gumption. Rank and file patrolman. So much gumption. This could be the one go. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. 
You got here quick. My beat Don't tell them to just get out of okay. there. This just happens. They're probably them. witnesses. We'll get the perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. Don't let anyone leave. Broad daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Better straddle the body. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Hmm. Hmm. Galetta. Playway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Do -do -do -do. I'm going to touch his face. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No, don't touch his face again. I want to I wanna touch his arms. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Hey, don't sass me. I'm investigating. in that pocket nothing wrong with this arm just gonna poke the wound poke the no come on no the wound check the wound. Okay, sod it. He's dead. We should make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Oh, we did get a witness. Phelps. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, <laughs> he was my this boss. This isn't what I wanted to do. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. I'm not done. Uh. I have, I have no evidence. I fucked up. Wait, that isn't everything. You haven't got it all. Uh, can I restart? Yes. Okay, let's try that again. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Oh, come on. Leg up, Can I that you skip the cutscene? The, the, the case that you solved that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance. And the police, Come but I'm on. He's dead. Why would they make okay, this cutscene unskippable? Move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. I assumed I could do that, but she started shouting at me, so I kind of assumed I couldn't talk to her again. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. 
Right, let's start touching the corpse again. I've seen everything. So there's Everybody a thing in this back. pocket. Let's do our job. Yep. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. No, we don't count this as a death. We count that as a Master Chief being an idiot. Can you not see the corpse? Just in case anything's changed. And there's nothing on that arm or in that pocket. No, stop checking the up, whatever. Let's look for some clues. All right, all right, yes, it's a dead person. Oh, there's something here. Candy corn. Oh, but that's. Does look like 32s. Don't you people have anything better to do? Let's put it back. Don't worry about it. Again, just it's all over. Serial number zero one one three eight. I need to run by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. This town is going straight to hell. Up, 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 up. Could I just leave? This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take his statement. I will take his statement momentarily. Wrinkled was not one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. Sir, I'm Officer Fellows. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Thank you. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Thanks for the advice, Speak friend. To before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. If you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Thanks for reminding me how to do my job, friend. Okay, now I interview the lady. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Um. I think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss. I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Wait, Gage, I can? My boss oh. bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. I missed what she said.
What did she say? I'm such a great detective. I didn't know that the interview had started. I was paying attention to chat. So where what? So he came out and found her because she was out late for lunch. I didn't know we'd have to judge if she was lying or not. I'm just going to accuse her of lying. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for Yay! Here. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing wow. your investment. Wow, I'm a dick. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk. Nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happens? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looks very painful. How many shots did you hear, Miss Coletta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Oh, it's coaching me. I'm going to stay just telling the truth there. You need to concentrate, Miss Coletta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Don't. You're making me angry, Miss Coletta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Wow. People do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Wow. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay then. Um, I guess I'm gonna go to the gun store. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking. 
Well, I wanted to go to the gun store, Maintain but... The perimeter. Make sure it didn't change my location. I am still going to the gun store. Yay. You're behind the wheel. Oh, cool. So I can just tell him to drive. Sweet. can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Cool. Oh, I didn't set anything in my notebook GPS. straight. You need to take the next left. I think he bought a clip as in. A new watch. No, you cannot. Officer Cole Phelps. Wow. Are you Edgar Kalu. Straight off uh, angry. No, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Instantly angry. Son of a bitch. Go, Cole, go. Dramatic God damn it. Don't eat this. Stop or I will What? Did I just put my gun away? I just put my gun away. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> what just happened there? The case that makes you, the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. I put my gun away and then held out my hands like a gun. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leads, and the half truths. The case that other cops murmur about. That was amazing. Past. The case you never. <laughs> God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? 
You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. This man is you've incredibly Irish. You've only time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. I've got a very scary finger. Have that? you seen the shit I can do with it? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Fine, Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. What? Bring me a confession, young Phelps. Why does the cat need to this be involved? Don't fail me. Don't put a poor cat in on this. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Boom. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber. Yeah, Whoa! That you hating fuck Whoa. leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Whoa! Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. He's lying, but I don't know what evidence I have other than this. He's very clearly lying. I'm gonna doubt him. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Gage? He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree Sweet. murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Why do I need two suits?
It's also assuming that I don't currently own any suits. Sweet, I got everything teched. Is it possible to not have everything ticked there? <clears throat> so I've been promoted, I guess. Man. Well, he never said to buy hats, but I clearly went out and bought a hat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's big. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new part. Step on See you, Senate. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys Pretty may well know welcome. Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. <laughs> shh, shh, quiet it. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside me. I'm going to start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. I get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I got this gadget whiz putting recording devices into the place. Yay! I'm in traffic. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got to this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. The main reason Santa's so jolly. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse. I'll direct. Make sure you are home as a first aid kit for safety. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Because We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa. I was wounded. Open your eyes! My eyes are open. I aimed for that. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge at... All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2 identified. 11 King, go ahead, KGPL. 
11K, a 459 suspect just left six. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. I can drive perfectly well, Uno. I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. Why can't I shoot this guy? Oh, I'm not meant to be able to stop him. Put the weapon down now. On your own goddamn head, be it. Headshot. No, oh, I meant to just straight murder him. Oh, I assumed it would be in here. Haha! <laughs> Please stop changing the camera! That makes this really difficult. to work off the detectives are here now you repeat to them what you told me I did the right thing by calling this in I'm just a working stick. just give them your story and you'll be all right nah this is your first case folks it's okay to admit it if you're stumped if you don't know what to do next just come talk to me and we'll see what we can do Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Let the investigation begin. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably stolen. Why does traffic the have detectives? The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the wrestler. Nice. day for it. How long are you going to keep me here, sir? I better get back to work, sir.
32 years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? She looks like a demon. I don't want to meet her. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. How's the world looking? to have lost a lot of blood. Really? Just a little bit of blood. Not too much. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Okay. Nothing at all. Oh well, let's go talk to this dude. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Uh, he seems truthful seen enough. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Man, this guy is unreadable. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. I'm done here. So... The Black Residence. 
Oh man, do I get to go to the arson desk? That's gonna be fun. Whoa. He just kept on walking. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to speak to the demon in that photo. This music is even getting, like, really dark. <laughs> this music is too serious for a house this nice. But I used an intuition point and Let's found all the ourselves. clues. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. <coughs> we believe your husband is injured. We found a pipe. It's pig's blood. blood. He faked his own oh, death. Oh no! My poor Adrian! He faked his own death. Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. She was in on it. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. God, she looks so evil in every one of these pictures. No, I caught that it was outside. Do they have separate bedrooms? Separate bedrooms? Separate pictures? What gives here? No, the water heater is outside, she said. This must be Adrian's. Yep. Stands in. So the glasses are a match. Suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside.
Oh, here it is. With a pipe missing. No use leaving the thing half finished. Wait, what? Why am I fixing his pipes? Oh. Oh. And you. Go. Yeah. And. Yeah, sure. No. Right. Oh, that goes over here. This one goes in here. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. I still think he faked it. Ooh, there's a payphone. Excuse me while I go use this payphone. I'll be back. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Let's go back and poke through her things some more. Doesn't know how to dance to bebop. It's really sad. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. What? So, your friend of court. seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. Might have been a newspaper related flashback. Like I want to give you something to calm your nerves. You're dead now. To take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about the past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Okay. Anything in the lounge to investigate? Do you like the planes? Neil, Neil. This means much. Just play with all your stuff. Not much help. 
Two, 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 two. That's everything worth looking at. Oh, I could have used her phone. Oh well. Aha! Oh wait, I've been in here. What? Why was the door closed? Who closed the door? The fact that this is still buzzing makes me feel like I can investigate more. Uh huh. Who's the call? This thing gets more and more interesting. Why would she send him a picture of himself? I think I've seen all the things now. I should probably just go talk to her. I'll have another quick poke around the kitchen just in case. Just bump up against everything until something vibrates. Our police work's done right. Yeah, Nicole isn't very good at being a mistress. Okay. I'm all right. No, detective. See you later, tracker gamer. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You're being flat out ridiculous now. That's not what, what I meant to do. Proof of where I was supposed to be. If I was there, at least I'd know what happened to him. But I don't detect it, and you might not care. But that is the most terrible feeling. I just wanted to point out that the glasses weren't new. I wasn't accusing her of not be of being there. I was just saying these glasses clearly aren't new. God damn it. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. His receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. 
Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the No, I'm not. That's suspicious. I'm 100% not. Your movements last night. What the fuck? You're not accusing me, are you? Jesus Christ, oh, this what guy. What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a play. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Darn. Oh. Oh, yes. Outfits. Oh, yeah. This is my second suit. I hope you'll mind that I just changed right in front of you, ma'am. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Why am I running this case? Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. Stranger things have happened. Oh, I hope I get that soon. That would be the best. Also, a strip of Phelps. Not Phillips. Wow. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. You want a tip? Refill my coffee faster next time. Real happiness. Very thrilled for love. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink, for, for all time's sake? She was a five-star goddamn wedding. You looking for someone? Something funny about the clam chowder. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. That broad's got sausage for deer. Boy, that steak... Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh, he's a dick. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, 
He's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. Great. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you up. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. That cherry pie was delicious. Hmm. I'm going to arrest him. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. I have no idea what that achieved, but I want to drive. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> Type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. My this officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211, the shots fired. Unit to handle code 3, identify. AGPL calling car 11K. 11 King, come in. 11K, go ahead. Well, we knew that. Roger, KGPL. Trying to reel this guy in, folks. Sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on to the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead for my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep busy. I'm the best cop. Let's go! I don't know how to do... Uh -huh. I don't know how to do cover. Stay down. 
Aha! Well, shit, I did lose my hat. I didn't even notice. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street. Globe loan and jewelry. It's code 4 now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor in the corner. Right through here. Straight through at the next junction. Take the next left. I'm a good driver. Straight on here. Right up ahead. Taking the next right. Turn left up ahead. We've got a set of officers whose entire job is to deliver hats to officers who have lost theirs. Let's check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. I'm an amazing driver, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't appreciate your sass. Apartment 2? Oh, it's this one. I thought that was a 1. Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Where did he go? I went the wrong way. How far back do I have to go? Oh, good. Help you. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the Oh, he went up. There's no point running, Adrian. Man, why is everyone in LA? LA so athletic. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Like he is not a small man. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. 
We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Yeah, just straight kick him in the junk as he opens the door. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. Yay. I did good. I missed a quest. I got that one fucking question. Oh shit, they keep track of how much damage I do? Oh dear. Well, I got five stars, so... I assume that's a star rating system. You have any plans for Weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in yes, Los Angeles. I got a five star factory. rating. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. somewhere gentlemen full inspection it had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend Kelso this carbine the core is dirty no it isn't are you arguing with me Kelso do what you need to do sergeant you know the boar's immaculate weekend liberty canceled uh, two-day field drill clean this rifle no do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? Is this guy going to turn out to be the no, big Sergeant. bad? Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. And he's gone. Can I use my cutscene powers here? Like I know the license plate of the car. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. We. The thing was, he was a real nice guy. I felt lousy collaring him. Thank you for letting me know that information completely out of context. Um, are you talking to yourself? Time for some driving. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. Who? I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes her. 
I'll convince him to let me go. How do you do that? I'll get him something better. I am such a good driver, you guys. How is that garbage truck even here? Jesus, Cole! I'm aware. I'm sometimes a pedestrian. Well, gentlemen. I'm a good driver. I work in traffic. Detectives. Over here. Oh, Phelps. Traffic. What have we got? Thick as a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the barn into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a look. Vic, Vic Right now we're going to take a look around. Hat investigation! Yep, this is definitely a hat. Yep. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Time to poke the victim. next of kin. Why does this guy seem so angry at an increase in his policy? He also appears to be a veteran. He was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on it. Yeah, it's a decent amount of money. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Looking for clues, or looking for clues. Hmm. 
Body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. driver managed to break before the impact. It's all yours, Detective. I may spend an intuition point on this. Newspaper! A knife? A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. No, not up there. Monkey Man Phelps. Oh, did I leave the sea? Oops. Now I've lost my inspection point. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, it's this. Is this like a whole nother story? Like, is this a Come in. an investigation I'm gonna do Have later? Thank you. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned for sanatoriums. We can reveal what we're looking for, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doc. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Court, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doc? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Court. What may on the surface appear to be illegal. So he's a dick. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? My name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take more of Mrs. Patterson Hall. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So 
but what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. I don't like how, like, the, the lying faces aren't exactly subtle. Booze, though. Oh, I've left the zone. Okay, I think I have all the clues now. Unless Lamb wants to refute that and tell me to investigate more. Lamb? Careful where you step, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Yeah, you do. You did that just last week. But I had all the clues last time and the background music was still going until I spoke to the woman. Is it not just speaking to her that's left? Like I did my intuition thing and it showed me all the clues. See, it's not up there because the music stops. Okay, I'll talk to her. I should have enough for that. Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. And what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 